Hi guys. Hello. So, oh, wait, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right. So this is Mike and Brad from Dallas Geek. Um, so this is our seventh <laughs> video in our uh, what to expect uh, when you go to your first con series. Um, yeah. And this time we are talking about food. This is insanely important to yes. think about ahead of time because you don't realize how quickly uh, hunger or thirst will sneak up on you. At Especially things. when you're walking like almost five miles a day. Yeah. That's not an exaggeration, folks. No. no uh, for the big cons, five miles a day could, could be uh, a light day. Yeah. Uh, especially if you go to like San Diego, oh, that five miles is, is a light. Oh, day. that's easy. That's easy. Yeah. yeah. Um, especially here at Dallas with the convention center, as big as it is, we'll probably log yeah. between three and five miles a day. So, but like Pretty Brad, fast. like Brad said, um, it's not something that you think about. You just think, oh, we'll be there. There's going to be a ton of people. They'll, they'll have, they'll have food and we'll be all set and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it plan, plan it out. Um, Try to eat a good sized breakfast before you go. Yes, yes. Um I have made the mistake on one occasion, and I will never make this mistake again, of not eating before I went. Yeah. Also hydrate before you yes. go. Uh because it's a little bit harder to find stuff to drink than it mm -hmm. is to find stuff to eat. Yep. Um, and because you're walking so much, you can get dehydrated very fast. Yep. So you want to, you know, have have some decent amount of uh water specifically water not, yeah. not coffee not just water beforehand otherwise you will hate yourself very yes. fast so um basically the way it'll work is is you'll go um on most days depending on where you're going like here for dallas um saturdays the doors will open at 10 i think sunday the doors open at 11 10 or 11 i think i think yeah and then um, you'll do a couple things and you'll get hungry because that's what you do when you're doing stuff. Uh, unfortunately, there's probably between 20 and 30 other thousand people that are going to get hungry around the same time. Mm -hmm. So here's where the planning comes in. You have to specifically think of a time that you would want to go and actually get your food. Yes. Now keep in mind. The earlier that you go and get your food, you're going to have a better selection of what you actually want to eat. But chances are you're going to have to go eat again before you leave. Yeah. Also, uh, food vendors, more than anybody else, uh, will probably have the most limited mm -hmm. stock of specific items. So the later you go in the day, the less chance you have of finding that specific thing that you right. want to eat. Um, uh, especially if it is a vendor that has like multiple uh, items to select from, uh, like some of the sandwich uh, vendors yes. that you'll find. If there's like a specific, if you want specifically a turkey club, um, good luck. They, they, they may have uh, you know only two hundred of those, yeah. and if you aren't gonna, if you're gonna choose to wait to eat until like two or three. Um, you might not be getting your turkey club. Yeah, because chances uh, are you aren't the only person that wants a turkey club. Oh, not even close. Just, just going to go out on a limb and play the odds there. Yeah. Um, now, like he kind of alluded to, they have sandwiches. Uh, now, this is usually in the cafeteria setup that they have. So they'll actually have a cafeteria setup where they'll have tables and they'll have, you know, a little conveyor belt line where you can go through and pick up a sandwich or they'll have some hot food. Like I think last year it was hot dogs and I think quesadillas. Yes. Yeah. Um, but they'll also have a rack of like sandwiches. They'll have fruit. They'll have vegetables. Yep. Apples, bananas, stuff that you can kind of snack on on the go. Ch try to keep it semi healthy. Yeah. Try. Because <laughs> um, most of everything else isn't. So they'll have chips in there, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, in all honesty, like as weird as this is gonna sound, I would say actually do like a carb load in the morning. Yeah. So like I would say like pancakes, waffles, toast. Yeah, like just to kind of get that extra energy and just to fill you up because once you get that hunger set in because you yeah. are walking so much, you're like you're not going to want to do anything else until you eat. And chances are that could actually interfere with maybe seeing one of the panels that you want to see or yeah. maybe like seeing a Q&A that you want to see or maybe like going and getting an autograph of somebody that you want to see. Yep. Like all of this stuff has to be taken into account. Yeah, so because... 
no con that I've ever been to will list the food vendors that they have mm-hmm. ahead of schedule. Uh, you really need to try to revolve your schedule around the things they will post. Right. You know, like the panel uh, times, the uh, the autograph times, the photo op times, uh, anything else that is going to be pre-planned. Right. Um, Try to schedule your day around that and remember, so you can know, okay, I have this panel uh, that I want to go to at 11, right. and it's going to be an hour long, and this other one that I want to go to, and it's going to be uh, at one thirty. so I have between 12 and... One, to give ourselves uh, yeah. time to get to the one thirty panel uh, to be able to eat. Right. So we need to try to find something probably close to uh, the first panel or the second right. that we can eat at. Uh, and that's really only going to be figured out once you get there and have a few minutes to walk around. Right. But um, just keep in mind those are the locations you need, need to be scouting by. Right. Also so, keep in mind they won't let you take food into panels. Oh, no. They won't let you take food out onto the convention floor. Same for drinks. They're very right. strict about that. So you can't, you can't be like, oh, I'll grab like something and take it. No, 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 no. So once you go and you get your food, you sit down and you eat everything that you want to eat. Yes. And you might even want to do like a, a, a load up of just like even if you're overeating at that point, just remember you still, you know, it's only noon. Doors don't close until six. Yeah. And you've got another however what three to four hours that you're going to be walking yeah now on the uh load up ahead of time uh point especially if you're going to be uh wanting to load up at lunch uh yes also remember <clears throat> while once you're there it is important to stay hydrated yes um d- don't overhydrate because no. uh the lines for the restrooms are usually about a mile long yeah and and unfortunately um, if, if you are, uh, a, a female that's going to be going to a con, yeah. uh, for whatever reason, uh, the, there seem to be fewer female, uh, restrooms, uh, near the yeah. pertinent areas, at least that I've seen. You, you might have to walk so a ways it's, to it's get gonna, to those. Yeah. It's going to take a while to get through. So just keep that in mind. Um, um also, uh, Keep in mind that when you go to actually get food, if you're going at the same time as a good chunk of the people that are there, uh, you're probably not going to be able to find a place to sit. Yes. So there probably won't be a table available or anything like that. Um, if you have to, find a wall. Find a good spot on the wall. If you're with a group of people, yeah, just... maybe send one or two people to go and hold the table down Yeah. and just be like, hey, what do you want me to bring you? Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you may just you know find a spot on the floor next to a wall so you don't uh, aren't just hunching over yep. and just settle. <laughs> yes, uh, that's about all you got. Um, the other thing uh, to keep in mind is these uh, wider options uh, that we're talking about are usually more prevalent for the big cons. Right. Sometimes on the mid sized cons, but uh, a not, lot more the mid size to the small cons. Uh, if or when they have food, uh, it's going to be more concession stand uh, style food. So you're going to be more along the lines of nachos, yeah. maybe some hot dogs, some popcorn, uh, chips, sodas. Um, and so the stuff that's in the convention, uh, that's available from the convention hall, that, that's going to be a little bit harder to uh, be willing to eat. And that is when the, um, the food vendors on the convention floor... Are going to be a, bit, a little bit more appealing, you know the the boutique candy uh, dealers, the um, the roasted nuts dealer. There's always at least one or two roasted oh, nuts yeah. options. Always, always. Um, sometimes uh, you'll find uh, a, a jerky dealer or um, uh, fudge. Dear Lord, fudge dealer. Uh, anyway (laughs) keep going (laughs) um yeah uh and usually if there's a jerky dealer there Uh, they're they're usually going to be sharing a stand that's split with the other half is the fudge and you'll have like different options for it um so those are usually uh pretty decent quality uh decently priced yeah um 
So that gives you some options. Uh, every now and then you'll have some other vendors for, you know, uh, Five Hour Energy or Red Bull or Monster that uh, are, are trying to uh, really push their products. Maybe a couple of the drink vendors will have uh, some free samples. Especially the say, energy drink uh, vendors tend to have some free samples. Last year's but, Summer Con here in Dallas, before they changed it to Fan Expo. Yeah. Um, dude, like, I can't remember how many times i had somebody coming up to me like oh did you do you need a red bull do you need a this to like yeah like they like they had red bull they had monster they had all of the energy drink people were there with like they had their stands on the vendor floor and everything and like they were literally just sending people out yeah just uh, like hey here's a red bull here's a monster here's a this here's a that yeah, and the five hour energy uh, booth was probably the most oh, popular God. of them all uh because they uh they were the easiest to uh grab something in out done uh almost mountain, no line mountain so. dew had a uh, mountain dew had a stand there oh yeah and, and, and that that was that was almost just as popular so. it was and it was literally like they were just pouring probably the the little like Dixie cup size. Yeah, just pouring drinks and it's like, yeah, take however many you want. Yeah. Yeah. So Which was a nice little form of energy. And then at the end yeah. of the day they were just like, dude, like please take some of our <laughs> Like like take like yeah. we'll we'll like take fifty of them. Yeah. So um that's some other stuff to take into consideration. Um, now, the other one for uh, the mid to small size cons, right. like uh, what we have here in Dallas uh, for the, uh, the fall. fall convention over in Las Colinas, uh, when the venues are able to accommodate it, uh, they uh, some of them will start to have now uh, food trucks. In fact, I think the last time we went to a Las Colinas one, wasn't that the only thing they had? I don't remember them having... The cafeteria set up for the last one. No, they, uh, they, they had the concession stand. They had some of the vendors inside. but for the, uh, And there is always the cafeteria that's like on the second floor, the little mezzanine level. Uh, but that's usually so packed that you can never get into it. Unless that, might be, yeah, that might be, yeah. Um, but the food trucks, uh, you know, you'll usually have a, a few to choose from. Right. Um, no promises on timing because those things get packed really fast. And so... Depending on if they're used to that kind of crowd or not, they may or may not be able to get through orders very quickly. Right. Um, some are great at it. I, I've, I've had a couple very amazing experiences with some of the food trucks there, just in terms of the speed of service. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I know my brother and I think you both uh, got uh, a pizza uh from one of the food trucks a couple years ago mine that, was okay mine didn't take so long your brother's on the other yeah hand. he took, he like, took 45 like 45 minutes yeah almost an hour uh to be able to get a freaking personal sized pizza and like people um, were getting theirs yeah and, and that he wasn't the only like one 10 that, to 15 there were, after and he was there like, were a few others yeah, that's not like his was a specialty issue. yeah i think his was just like regular ass cheese pizza yeah so i mean the food trucks are always going to be hit or miss oh, yeah uh for what actually showed up uh, whether or not this particular food truck is prepared for the crowd they're about to get. Um, but, I mean, it's an option that you have, and every truck, every convention is going to be different. Right. So um, it, it's worth looking into. Right. And More more options yeah. are good. Yeah. More options Very are better. Um, you just <laughs> may not have that many options with depending on the size of the con and everything like that so. yeah so uh just keep that in mind yeah um and yeah uh just once again whether you're uh, eating inside outside seating is at a premium so uh yes do not go into it expecting that you will have a proper seat you're gonna have to while you eat. you'll you maybe, might maybe not you might luck into it depending on what time you go if you go before the yeah. rush or after the rush yeah Probably won't have a problem finding a seat if you go in, a, like, and the line is out the door and around the block. Yeah, um, yeah. Chances are, ain't gonna be that easy to find a table. Yep. Um, also, take into account food into your budget. Yes. Yes. You don't think about it, but it's not exactly the cheapest food. It's not exactly the most expensive food, but it is a little bit on the higher price end. Think. Think along the lines of what are you going to pay for food if you go to um, a football game? Oh, God, I don't think it's that bad. Well, some of them are. Are they? I don't think it's been that bad recently. 
Like I think, uh, I mean, not some of the cons, some of the booths. Uh, oh yeah, like yeah, yeah some, yeah, some yeah, of the cafeteria yeah. setups can be. Yeah. Um, um, I would just say just just plan yeah. it out. Yeah. Put it in your budget. Um, I would say probably the twenty to forty dollar range would be oh, a safe easily, bet. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Um, per day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because you you might say, well, you know, I, I'm only planning on uh, just eating lunch there, right? But you may want like a snack or two, right? So that that will run you real fast. Yes, so. it will. Anyway, anything uh, else that you wanted to cover in this one? I think that's about it. That's like yeah, yeah, cool. Well, okay, then. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that I think that's enough food talk. Um, yeah. Actually, speak of that, it's actually time to go get food. That's yeah, really so, funny. Uh, um, with that. This I'm Mike. That's Brad. We were Dallas Geek, and uh, yeah, dig it. See ya. <laughs>